at this uh, little wally here. Uh, it's a two-wheeled robot uh, controlled by a PC Duino board, which is a mini PC platform similar to Raspberry Pi, a little bit more powerful. It runs uh, Ubuntu Linux. And uh, I'm running a Node.js service on this board, which I have developed. Um, when the service starts, it establishes secure connection to Bluemix IoT service and subscribes to command like move, turn, or stop. At the same time, the IoT service itself will subscribe to event that the device will publish. Every published event contains two attributes, uh, speed and of the robot and the distance from obstacles. The speed is measured by those wheel encoders that I have fitted in there, which is here, uh, and the distance to closest obstacle is measured by this uh, infrared uh, laser sensor. Most examples I've seen, IoT examples particularly, I've seen on Bluemix focus on only collecting data from devices. I will show here how to collect data from device, make a decision based on that data, and then act on that decision by commanding the device to do a corrective action. To make the whole thing a little bit of a fun exercise, uh, we had to use this uh, little wally here because, uh, as everybody know, no, nothing beats autonomous robots when it comes to having fun. Let me quickly describe the Bluemix services and apps that I'm going to use. On my dashboard here, uh, I've got two applications. One is used to visualize the data using graphs and charts. This is um, uh, an IoT sample app that you can download from GitHub uh, and upload to Bluemix. Uh, you can see it here very simple. The other one um, is a Node-RED app which you can uh, get from uh, Bluemix uh, catalog apps which is this one here, first one. Uh, we're going to be using Node-RED to actually control the movement of the robot through this chart. Uh, both apps are using uh, Node.js runtime uh, and they are bound to the IoT uh, service. The IoT service itself will manage the device. You can register and manage the device. So here's the device that's been registered, which is a PC Duino. At the moment, it's disconnected. Uh, in Node-RED app, I can order. I have three different actions I can take. I can move forward, I can move backward, and I can stop the robot. In every action, uh, every action will publish uh, a command using the command robot box here uh, and at the same time uh, every event from the robot uh, get uh, published uh, will be read from the input from robot so uh, when I receive an event from the robot here which basically uh, carry two attributes uh, the distance and the speed of the robot I extract the distance from the payload and then check uh, if the distance is uh, less than 30 centimeters from an obstacle uh, I'll turn the robot around 180 degrees more or less and then I'll wait for five seconds and then I'll move forward again and that thing will continue every time the robot comes closer to an object uh, for a less than 30 centimeters uh, it will stop it will turn around and then it will move again till I stop it myself from here let's do a little demo now so I will um, order robot to move forward now you see the sensors it's turning around so it coming closer to place and then it turns and the speed moving up and down with it as well Okay, I can stop it now. 